r slash escritted. Have you ever listened to a person talk for less than a minute and known you weren't going to get along with that person? What did they say? I'm not racist but. When I was an intern in like 2017, I used to carpool in a packed car of other interns, mixed gender group. First day this girl asks the whole car, but she's only directing it to the guys, do you think Kendall or Kylie is hotter? Absolute silence for several minutes. A worker who did less work than I did for 3x the salary, who had no kids, and whose husband ran a repair shop and owned two small apartment buildings, speaking to me, sole breadwinner of a family of five with several large medical bills to worry about. I just don't know how we're going to decide between buying a new RV or buying that mountain cabin in Northern California. We might just have to take out a loan so we can get both. Hi, let's talk about how my religion can change your life. They didn't know what World War II was, who Hitler was, or why Nazis were bad. She thought it was a slur for a white person because she kept seeing it on the news and online. Was out to eat with this person and they chewed with their mouth open. Yeah our friendship didn't stand a chance. I'm an equal opportunity offender. I offend everybody equally. Says something racist. Says something homophobic. Says something sexist. For the next three months the first and last word out of your miserable mouth will be sir. I figured he must be angry about something do I try to ask him what was wrong and if he wanted to talk about it, but he just kept getting madder and madder. Well, I'm a taxpayer, so. I knew I wasn't gonna like her based off her actions on her first day at work. We worked with dogs at a daycare and boarding place. In the morning, during feedings, one of the first things she tried to do was get meds from the med cabinet. I tell her no, that's front desk, they handle medication. She just kinda nods. In my head, I'm like not sure why you are trying to pass out meds without anyone explaining anything to you, but okay, let's move on. Few days go by then one day, she asks if she's supposed to clean the water bowls we have in the dog's sweets overnight, she was already told how to clean sweets, which involve cleaning the bowls every morning, I just say yes. She also asked me if she should clean the park water bowl after a dog peed in it. I again say yes. She still works here, but no one likes her since she likes to pretend she knows what she's doing then asks questions that can be answered by having basic common sense and problem solving skills. The quiet boy at school sat next to me and told me how hard he felt when he took a shit and how many times he ejaculated that way. I never sat next to him again. Do they have to talk? Does nodding and smiling count? There was this dude I knew who was a total bullshitter. This dude was like that door from Labyrinth who never told the truth. You could bet money that if his lips were in motion, he was telling a story that straight up did not happen. One night, my friend and I bumped into him at 7 to 11, and he got out of his car to tell us some horseshit about getting pulled over and schooling the cop who did it about regulations, yes, homie was obviously white. Out of the passenger side emerged this girl. To this day, I still don't understand my reaction to this chick. She was listening to his stupid shit, nodding along to all the right beats and laughing in all the right places. And there was something about her that made me see red. As in, I'm watching this girl go along with this obvious bullshit, and my hearing starts to go. I no longer hear this dipshit talking, I only see this creature that looks human, but whatever is behind those eyes was, something evil. I felt like a paladin looking at a minor demon. A disgusting creature. Like I was looking at a snake. This creature was false in every sense of the word. The loudmouth doing the talking was just full of shit, that's how he was and what he did. Nobody took him seriously. This nodding thing, however, it was dishonest in a whole different way, one that made me feel actively hostile. I'm an extrovert. People are my thing. I people for a living, and I people for fun. Never before that or since have I ever met someone who I never wanted to see again so hard, and I don't think she even said a word. License and registration please. First day of my sophomore year of college, I immediately noticed the RA for my suite had a habit of responding with what, every time he was spoken to unprompted, forcing the person to repeat themselves. By the end of the day I straight wanted to murder this dude. I met this guy at a bar and I was moderately interested in him but when we started texting throughout the following week I don't know I was really into him to the point where I sent him a few pics of my chest. And then one day he went on some tangent about how the vaccines are bad for you etc etc. 
I'm an RN and I was so embarrassed that I sent him my jugs without properly moons sure he was a lunatic. You should try Ivermectin and I'm out. First one on one chit chat with a new guy on site, I'm really thankfully my son's not gay. And then complained about every possible thing that's not a straight white guy. I was the only woman at my last job and I was second in seniority on our little crew. I did almost all of the training of the new people, all the younger guys loved me because I was like mom to the crew. Always had snacks and would always listen when they were having a problem or whatever. My biggest problems were usually with guys in their mid-thirties. In the morning meeting the bosses told everyone their job assignments. As we were walking out of the shop he said yeah like I'm going to listen to some snot nosed 24 year old chick to one of the older guys and the older guy turned and looked at him and said I suggest you say that to her face. And if I were you, I wouldn't piss her off. We will always like her more than we will ever like you. And he was an absolute dick to work with and never listened to anybody except for the managers. Lasted about 3 weeks. Still dislike that guy. My favorite was when my husband and I were working together for a bit. He worked there before and we needed help so he came in on days off to lend a hand, and the one guy I was having issues with at the time said I was a huge bitch and he didn't understand why they didn't just fire me aside from my tits, thinking this new guy would be his friend. Husband listened to him all day and didn't say a word. At the end of the day when the entire crew was filling out time cards he looks at the guy and says thank you for telling me all day how much of a bitch my wife is. But you're right, she does have great tits. I have a literal opposite story to this prompt. I had some friends at work, ate lunch with them a lot, hung out after work sometimes. One of them was much more outgoing and willing to talk to other folks at the company than I was, despite how many more years I had been there. She invited some random guy to our lunch one day, and I, who is always hesitant with change, was a bit reluctant, but whatever, it's not like I can control who she invites. The guy showed up and a bit of awkward conversation ensues. Typical of a new person trying to test the waters in an established group. But he really went for it and talked about how the perfect job for him would be to shave his feet and sell pictures on Snapchat or OnlyFans and make loads of money, because who would know if they only saw their feet. I guess it was funny, looking back on it, but this was the first time I ever met the guy, and it was while we were at work, so it was a bit of a shock. And I definitely came out of that first meeting with a negative opinion of the dude. Cut to a few months later and every time we've happened to hang out since then, and yeah, the guy is a good dude. Super chill. Goes with the flow. Doesn't take much personally. And you know, just a good dude in general. If we ever end up at the same party, I find myself hanging out with the guy because he's a cool dude. Willing to put himself out there, as I should have judged from that first conversation. It was just a weird first impression, but when hasn't that happened to you when you try to fit in with a random group of people? made me more patient and more open with meeting new folks and giving them multiple chances to make an impression on me. At his wife's birthday party, met the husband for the first time, a Trump fan, I was able to let that go, but then the recent Aussie wildfires came up, how do they know climate change isn't something that happened regularly? After I explained three different points of how climate can be measured over recent years, decades, and millennia, he doubled down on the disbelief of science. Am forced to interact with him because his wife is in my wife's circle of friends, but avoid if possible. Anyone that uses their political ideology as their sole identity. Polish girl in my class proceeded to tell me, a Scottish person, that Japanese whiskey is better than Scottish whiskey. I'm all up for a lively discussion but when asked for names of either Japanese or Scottish whiskeys she had tried she couldn't remember. When asked why she believed this to be so she didn't know. Well fucking shut up then yakow. I'm old AF and she was very 20 and full of shite. Some of the stuff she'd talk about made me cringe so we don't associate anymore, who has the energy or time to listen to that shite. Have you read anything about flat earth theory? I'm at a new job in a team conference meeting. Old caricature looking guy leans over to another guy and starts joking slash complaining about the new pregnant man emoji they just put out. I knew right away he was going to be on about a new made-up right-wing culture war every week and damn if I wasn't spot on. Even if you're unashamedly transphobic, what grown man cares about emojis? She said I reminded her of her mom. OMG, we can totally be friends because we have compatible zodiac signs. Meet your teacher day before my kiddo started kindergarten and this other parent literally bragged that her kid was completely illiterate, 
couldn't stand being read to, and she hated reading too. From the comments I think that anything that is overdone is unattractive. Guys with rock hard huge cocks. I prefer women. Did people in this thread misread the question? Up asked for a common attractive trait you find unattractive. Most of the responses here are just unattractive things. Very muscular men. It's hot when they look fit and healthy but after a certain point it looks ridiculous and unnatural. Those fake big eyelashes. Long nails, not like slightly long no the impractically long nails, that and lip filler. Brand clothing slash accessories etc. It's not a turn off, but it certainly doesn't impress me to any extent more than a high street bargain. If you brag about your 300 pounds jacket though, I'm out and closed for business woman gesturing no light skin tone. Being obsessed with hustle culture. I think this is mostly a southern thing, I could be wrong, but when men here constantly post about how manly they are. Real men cook dinner and don't go out all the time, real men don't act like sissies, real men drive big trucks and drink beer etc. Those are just some random examples but if you have to constantly prove that you're a manly man, it turns me completely off. But a lot of women in the south love it. Edit. Yeah that first example wasn't the best lol it's just one of the last things I remember that this guy on my Facebook posted. He's a prime example of the type of men I was talking about here. Constantly saying how soft men are, posing in his lifted truck, degrading women, and only real men drink beer. My apologies. Huge fake boobs or lips. I'm not sure it's classified as common, but the whole diaper butt look. I'm an ass man, but that shit is whack. Just be au natural and rock what you were given. It the permanent dominator attitude. I actually love the sound of people who speak boisterously but when it's all about overpowering, forcing, or stepping on people it's just gross. It blows me away that so many people just can't help themselves with people like that. It's a trap. Find someone that will treat you right. All the baggage you collect from a bad relationship is not worth it. Skipping the friend phase. No I don't want yo dick sir I want you to tell me awkward stories from your childhood first, 